because new interim president opposition senator Janin Anes has been sworn in. This comes after ousted president Evo Morales, the longest serving leader, resigned after weeks of protests. Anes assumed leadership before other lawmakers in Congress and went on to address her supporters from the presidential palace. She is taking over office temporarily until fresh elections are conducted. Now remember, Bolivia held elections just last month where ousted President Evo Morales was accused of manipulating the election results. Originada en la vacancia de la presidencia del Estado, ante la ausencia definitiva del presidente y del vicepresidente, lo que significa que, conforme al texto y sentido de la Constitución, como presidenta de la Cámara de Senadores, Asumo de inmediato la presidencia del Estado prevista en el orden constitu constitucional y me comprometo a asumir todas las medidas necesarias para pacificar el país. Former Bolivian President Morales reached Mexico early in the morning today. Upon hearing the news, he called Janine a coup-mongering right-winger. Mexico is providing asylum to him as they claim that his safety and integrity is in danger. In a region divided along ideological lines over Morales' fall, Mexico's leftist government has supported his accusations of a coup against him by political rivals. Minutes before heading towards Mexico, ousted President Morales live-streamed his goodbye message on a local radio station. Let's have a look at that one. Local authorities traveled along and took care of me. Now, I say goodbye, grateful for their commitment and effort. I will return with strength, with more energy to keep working for our beloved country. Almost 14 years of governance, listening to the demands of the people. It makes me sad to abandon Bolivia for political reasons. To the Bolivian people, together we work towards a new Bolivia, always. I would like to ask Camacho and Misa, do not kill like past governments. Defend life. Stop this massacre. Stop humiliating the poor. The growing civil unrest has gained traction from around the world. U.S. has ordered government employees living in Bolivia to leave immediately. In a precautionary statement, the U.S. has said that they have authorized the departure of non-emergency government employees and their families due to ongoing political instability in Bolivia. Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro has asked the Bolivian military to restore ousted President Morales. He warned that the ongoing unrest in Bolivia could lead to a civil war. He also said that Bolivia should not repress the people. This when Maduro himself has been facing waves of protests since 2004 in Venezuela.